Hey, welcome to the Insurance Buzz. This is your host, Michael Weaver. I've got co-host Courtney Weaver today. What's going on? What's up? This is going to be a good one. We're going to get juicy. So today we're talking about how do you recession proof your life? Woo! All right. How do you recession proof your life? And here's the thing. If you do not recession proof your life, you're always going to be living a life of worry, mm-hmm. a life of what if this happens? Yeah. So this is one of the number one things that we see successful people do. And especially right now with everything that's going on, it's very easy to fall into this fear of what does my life look like? But the number one thing that we see, or one of the number one things that we see successful people do that we 100% believe in is that you choose education over entertainment. Mm. So I want to think about really where we're at. Yeah. I want to get into this, this education over entertainment. And I know if you are paying attention at all, it's very easy to go down the, okay, what's going to happen? What does my life look like? What is the economy going to do? What are interest rates and customers and inflation? And there's all these like very scary things that are being put out. But I think for us, when we think about worst case scenario, worst case scenario, everything goes away. Everything. Everything. Our bank accounts are emptied. Our house is gone. We're living in a freaking hut in the woods. Y'all just didn't see that or or hear that, but I just had a big gulp. You took a big gulp. I took a big gulp. Yeah, I took a big (laughs) gulp because that is scary as shit. And I'm the type of person who I always like to play out worst case scenario. Because for me, if I can play out worst case scenario, then then I start looking for opportunities of like, okay, this is... This is what I need so to do. So what's worst case scenario? So we lose everything. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. Now that's not going to happen, but I want to get into that framework of whatever your worst case scenario is. Maybe your job changes or maybe rates go up or maybe you lose X amount of customers or whatever. I want you to think about what your worst case scenario is because that's where you really have to get into this mindset of what's left. What do I have when all of that, everything that I consider secure and stable, when that changes, Mm -hmm. what's left? And the number one thing that can never, ever, ever be taken from you. Ever. What is it? It's your knowledge. It's your knowledge. They cannot take, nobody, and I say they, like this arbitrary thing, but fear. Fear cannot take that away. No. Cannot take away what you have learned, your skill set your knowledge, your education. I would even go maybe a little step further and say your network, the people that you know yeah. um, that have helped you grow as well. But if you're a master at your craft, oh. you never have to worry about money a day in your life. No, because you have the skill set. You're able to apply your skill set in whatever situation. Doesn't matter what happens. Shit hits the fan, you lose everything. Yeah, You still have the craft that you've mastered That can make a living. Yeah. No matter what. So (laughs) when we started dating, so (laughs) I met Michael in 2011 and he was just getting into insurance at the time. He had been in insurance for, I don't know, like a year and a half. Mm. You were an intern first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, You were a cold caller. Insurance sales. (laughs) Yeah. I'm in, I'm in it. I'm in it. You're in it. So I meet him and he has the 2008... Chevy Malibu. The silver bullet, which we still have today. <laughs> yeah, same. All right. Yeah, you want to drive by our house right now? It is right outside. He's still, we actually both still drive it, the 2008 yeah, Chevy it's Malibu. it's reliable. It's great. It, it, and it keeps us humble because I never want to forget where we came from. So every time I get in, I'm like, what's up, girl? Here we go. So this thing has a CD player for, for you children that are listening that don't know what that is. That, that was what came before. <laughs> What we have now. So there's no like fancy, there's no fancy technology. It is a CD player. And when I got into his car, it was the first day. It was so sweet. You come out, you open the door, we get in, and there is this man talking 
through the speakers and I'm like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> and he said, oh yeah, it's Brian Tracy. And I'm like, first of all, who's Brian Tracy? BT in the house, baby. <laughs> so uh, he's like, yeah, he flips open his center console, very proud, <laughs> flips it open and there are probably 20 CD cases and it's Brian Tracy's The Psychology of Selling. This is an audio book. Mm -hmm. On CD, mm -hmm. and he has listened to this every day. He's like, Yeah, this is what I listen to on my way to work, on my way home from work, like on my lunch break. Like, this is what I'm doing. I'm listening to Brian Tracy mm -hmm. all the time. So, every time I would get into the silver bullet, what, what lunch break though? I'm not, <laughs> like, if you needed a break, listen, that's, true. that's true. Every time I got into the silver bullet. We would listen to Brian Tracy and it got to the spot where I'm like, dude, can we listen to music? Dude, me and, <laughs> me and Brian Tracy were homies. Like, come on, man. Like, but it's, it was that, like I had. We still have those CDs. We definitely still have those for sure. Yeah. yeah. They're not going anywhere. They'll, they'll be with me my entire life. Should we put them in a shadow box? I something? don't know. One day okay. I'm sure that we'll bring like, kind of like. Yeah, anyways, long story short. We've got to crystallize the car and the Brian Tracy <laughs> CDs. They're going to go together. This is important, though. It's because important because, look, I'm always, and we are always focused on how can we prepare our future selves? How can we make our future selves and current self the best it can be, the yeah. best we can be? And, look, I had a goal back then of, Hey, I want to be the best sales professional I can be. I want to be the best insurance professional I can be. The only way I'm going to get there is if I'm actually listening from someone that is a professional, that is amazing, that that literally gets paid to teach and coach. Yeah. And that's Brian Tracy. He's the OG of sales. Who else do I want to? So psychology of selling every single day, 18 months in a row, morning, night, me and Brian Tracy, we getting together and learning some sales. <laughs> yeah. That's what we did. So that was what almost 12 years ago you're still with me it worked it did work and it actually <laughs> didn't scare you it off, didn't scare me off it created a, and this is um a side note for the the talk that we're having right now but if you are wanting to inspire the people around you they're going to be more inspired by what you do versus what you say so what happened was i was listening to brian tracy over and over and over again i was in sales at the time I've been in sales since I was 21. Like that was my first job out of college. My degrees in English literature and business, but I went into sales. I loved it. Mm -hmm. And what happened was I actually became obsessed with it as well. And really this overconsumption of like, what else can I learn? It was a different energy of like, I wanted to become this person who was equipped for whatever situation came at me. Yep. So, and I think that's, a testament you still do that i mean you read a book a week well, essentially i just like when i look at my life like <clears throat> i didn't know back then i was going to be a coach mm -hmm. but everything i've done since the age of 20 since the age of 22 i've always invested in either books coaching programs sales training programs every year I get more and more invested into it because um, I'm always trying to make sure I'm doing everything I can to master the craft, be as knowledgeable as I can be. Um, and that's very something I'm very passionate about because, look, as a, as a business owner, as a leader, again, actions speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. And I want to be the best version of me, not only now, but in the future. How do I get there? By continuously edu or educating myself Instead of just like sitting in front of a TV every night for four hours, like yeah, scrolling on the internet. Yeah. So what are some? To music. So let's get into this. So what are some things? All right. What are some things? You want to talk about the things that you can do? Well, unless, unless that make this happen. We don't got to talk about the things right now. What's let's on your do mind? It. No, I I think let's definitely do it. He just, <laughs> he, he just got really close to my face. <laughs> I I think the. The number one objection is always time. And I, I'm going to call bullshit. If you say you don't have enough time, I mean, I have you seen Beyonce or J-Lo or Grant Cardone or Gary V or, I mean, these guys are going, they have so much stuff going on and they're still making their 
personal and professional growth a priority. So I would say an easy thing to do, I used to listen to music a lot. I still like to listen to music, but instead of listening to music when I'm like folding clothes or doing laundry or whatever that looks like a mundane task, I now listen to an audible. I have a book always prepped right now. I'm doing the 10 day MBA. So I always have a book prepared for when my next one is done. So we spend a lot of money on audible. Um, but I think taking that a step further too, and you know, an easy thing you can do is, is trade out music for an audiobook, trade out TV for a course. Those are easy substitutes, but then I would say the intermediate version, the next level of that, you got to freaking apply that. Hmm. <laughs> like you, like, sorry. I'm just going to read all the time. I'm going to take some classes, but I'm not actually going to do anything yeah, with the information like, I learned. Yeah, come on. You have got to take some action. And that's the scary shit. That, that's Because that forces growth. Yes, yeah. that's actually, you know, have you ever been around somebody who has all of this knowledge, but they don't do anything with it? That's the most frustrating thing because it's like you have made yourself so intelligent, but now you're not actually using that in a way that is prosperous to your life. So I think there's or anybody else's. Yeah, I think there's two there's two sides to that. So I would say, you know, if you're preparing for what is out of your control in terms of the economy or what that looks like, you have to start looking at okay, what areas do I can I maximize my potential, my growth? So for us, it's, you know, sales or leadership or podcasting. Like this is an easy thing. Like just trade anytime you want to sit down and watch another episode of House of the Dragon or whatever Game of Thrones franchise is kicked out. Trade it out for something that's actually going to be beneficial either to your bank account or your life account. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. Thanks. I like that one. Put it on Pinterest, That's baby. That's good. Make a quote That's out of good. That. We That's get, true. We're getting buzzed on the bus today. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. So I, I think that's an easy way to sub out, um, you know, the entertainment versus education. It's a habit, too. It is. It's a habit. Paying attention to when you just want to grab the remote. Being um, intentional with what your time. Being intentional with what you're feeding your mind. Yeah. Being intentional with what you're feeding your body. Like, education over entertainment. All right. So we talked about Brian Tracy and the psychology of selling. Yeah. And I'm actually hey, look. looking at our bookshelf right now and I'm like, <clears throat> what's up? There's a lot of Brian Tracy books over here. Yeah, man. Me and BT, we go way back. <laughs> all right. He's a mentor that doesn't know he's a mentor. So, um, I, I, can I, can I add something to this too? I think sometimes you want to get into this mindset of it's almost selfish to learn more or grow more or take time for yourself to make it a priority, but I want to offer a different perspective that you just made a face like. That's insane. But you can think that of like, you know, I should be doing something or maybe spending time with my family. My family watches TV. If I don't watch TV with them and I do something else. Okay, but when you're spending time, are you actually like spending in t like. That's not my point. Quality time? I like where you're going, but that's not my point. My point is if you learn something and then you apply that, the service you will be to other people mm -hmm. is incredible. So I, I want you to look at this as not only this is a service to yourself, but this is mm. also how you're of service to others around you too. So if your family is watching TV every night, and I get your point of like, that's not intentional time. Being an example, going back to what I said in the beginning, I watched you listen to audiobook after audiobook on, is it considered a book on tape at that point? I think it is. Oh Jesus, we are so old. <laughs> A CD. I watched it. And then what happened was I adopted those habits. So if you're struggling and you're at that spot in your life of like, I really want growth and I really want more confidence and I really want to get better at this, but I don't have this great support system. You're going to have to trust that just going out and doing it, those habits are going to seep out and be of service to other people. It might not happen right away, but that may be the best thing you ever do. Yep. So let's talk about some books that really changed our life. Um, if you want a quick, easy, like, Okay, great. I'm in it. I'm ready. What can I do? I'm ready to choose education over entertainment. You don't have to do it all the time, but I, I would suggest doing it majority of the time. Tell me your books. What has changed your life aside from psychology of selling? 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Secret mm, by Rhonda agree. Byrne, which uh, talks about the law of attraction. Um, that's one of my favorite books. As you know, I read it just about every night before I go to bed on repeat. Mm -hmm. I know. You read the same book every... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Think and Grow Rich. Yeah, Think and Grow agree. Rich is a solid one that definitely has changed my perspective on things. Um, the 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. A fantastic book. Yeah. For any insurance agents out there, game changer, taking your insurance agency to the next level. That's my favorite one, and that's by Michael Weaver. And it'll, <laughs> it'll be out on Audible very soon. Um, that's my favorite. Big fan of that because it's very niche down. It's very specific. It talks about selling to our industry, which hey, is so fun. It'll be a game changer in it your business. It will be a game so. changer. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, the Four Agreements is an oh, amazing yeah. book. Um, so obviously what you're hearing a lot of, like mindset. Mm -hmm. A lot of mindset. Now, if you're looking for sells books, things like that, reach out. I'm happy to help you. But these are all books because I'm a big, like you have to be able to develop yourself personally, your mindset before anything else really matters. And mastering your craft. Like if you're going to be in sales, yes, you need to be hiring coaches. You need to be um, reading books that help you get better, that help you improve. Because look, you could read the whole book of psychology of selling and maybe you only take one thing away. Maybe you're not as big of a fan as, as I was. But if you take that one thing away, yeah. the one thing can make a significant difference in your life. That's what I look at at every book I read. I just want to take one thing. Yeah. One thing. One idea could be a million dollar idea. Mm -hmm. One idea can help me add more value to my customer's life, to my life, to my family's life. Yeah. It's just one thing. I will say, if you're listening... How about right, you? You well, got any books? Well, let me say this if you're okay. listening right now and you're like okay i have a specific question for a specific book or because we get this a lot you can text us and if we have references or recommendations we'll definitely do that so you can text us at 816-727-7610 just hashtag the buzz and let us know what question you have about books and we're more than willing I, this is one of my favorite things to share about i mean like i'll screenshot my audible library yeah. all the time of like this is what we're listening to this is what we like um and, and i think it's one of my favorite things to do is to just sh share knowledge of if we heard something yep. this is what we so i think books look books i think podcasts are great you didn't let me say my books okay okay what's what books what okay books? so thanks um i'm gonna interject and say all of these are great yeah that you mentioned the one that like made my like head explode was a hundred million dollar offers. Ooh. Like that was the thing that like my, I felt like, Oh my gosh, there were so many like takeaways that I got from that. So I really like all of those, um, secrets of a millionaire mind. I'm, I'm mm. also in the, the mm. mindset of like making sure I work on, you know, my money mindset yep. because that controls a lot of how I make decisions. Atomic habits was one that like blew me up. Yeah, if you need help with like morning routine, like Miracle Morning or uh, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Club. 5 a.m. Club is my personal favorite when it comes to that, but you know. Oh, gosh. It's so, got great stories. Any more books? No, that's Can it. I move on now? You can move on now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got, look, I think podcasts are great. Um, lots and lots of podcasts out yeah. there. Uh, if you really want to take it to the next level, I think that's when you, 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 you start to invest into coaches trainers courses, courses mm -hmm. things that actually are going to improve your craft okay um help you become whatever it is a better sales professional a better business owner a better, better dad better dad like, like whatever so you're looking for yeah. there's people out there that can help yeah and so the be the benefit with that is the more you invest typically the more you get out of something You've got accountability um, there as well. You've got experts that have been in your situation that are helping you, uh, and so that's the the and, and that's something that that we really pride ourselves in doing. So not only are we reading every day, listening to podcasts, but I mean we each have like three coaches right now as well. So um, it's just it's always that improvement piece. And if you if, and again time you have to make you have to make time for what's important saying you don't have time is just saying it's not important to yeah. me all right so that's not really a valid excuse unless somehow you've figured out how to get more hours out of the day and 
let me know. If so, that's a whole quantum physics <clears throat> conversation that I would love to have and I would love to bring you on the podcast. If you have figured that out, like, <laughs> please let us know. But I think that this is really important as, as we start to navigate um, changes outside that we can't control. Yeah, it's the recession. You have to recession-proof yourself. Yeah, and you have to think about, you know, really... If at all, like worst case scenario, what do I have left? And it's really my skill set. Can I go out and can I create something or apply here or yep. like, and for me, I think that that just gives me so much peace of mind to know that I'm making deposits every single day into a future version of myself that I'm going to be proud of, but also this current version of myself that gives me security. Yep. So that, I, I will trade episode 10 of Game of Thrones, which I've, I've never seen Game of Thrones, but I, whatever. I will trade that for a really great book that enriches my life. Yeah. I think that's... I love it. I think that's that. All right, my friends. If you enjoyed this episode, please let us know. Shoot us a text. Shout us out on social media. Definitely hit that five star review button tell people a little bit about us can i say something too yeah of course you can if you like having me on the bus i would also like to know that i would like to hear um it's just everybody like, show corny some love <laughs> all right i'm show like a love. dolphin i need praise i need claps i need applause no i think it's a it's an interesting dynamic that we've kind of taken the buzz oh now. look what i love you on the buzz all right oh. so so all right, fine. I'll stay. You're not going anywhere. Okay, I'll stay. <laughs> but right. if y'all love Courtney, let us know that too. Know that <laughs> I love too. your high pitch voice. <laughs> let us know it too. So, friends, you good? <laughs> I'm good. All right, I'm good. So, friends, you know this. As always, time is the most valuable and important asset that we all have. We appreciate you spending time with us on the buzz today. We know time is super important. Go out and make it great. <laughs>